Alrighty guys, welcome back to another video here on the channel. We got ourselves our first copy of Aurum's Epiphany. So we figured, hey, uh, let's crush some dreams. And uh, we want to do it, not the white blue way I've showed you before, but uh, we wanted to try it with some uh, blue and red. Alrighty, let's hope this blue and red variant uh, works. And our first opponent is Kodozi. So we got ourselves some lands. Uh, we'll keep. Maybe, hopefully, draw some blue mana. And we got ourselves a nice thermal alchemist here. Something I threw in there to try to get some damage through. And bam. I think this is our only creature in the deck besides the birds epiphany mix. But. Uh, Let's hope he gets us there. Alright, perfect. So we're going to tap him. We're going to do one damage to our opponent here. Casting our next one. And if he gets to cast a creature on his next turn, we'll be able to bounce it back and untap this guy and tap him again. To do another point of damage. And having a 0 3 body, but hopefully it helps us so we can uh, block some damage out. Alright, whenever a spell you control deals damage, transform Flame Channel. Alright, so we'll be able to cast this Fading Hope and we'll be able to untap our guy and tap him again. So there's a Fading Hope. I'm putting that back in his hand, being able to untap this guy. And we don't need any more lands, so we're going to just put that at the bottom. And then we're going to uh, activate this ability again, doing one damage to him. So we're going to do this, this, and this, and we're going to foretell this epiphany now. And... Uh, We'll pass for now. Now we can tap off with these guys, do two more damage. And then an additional two more damage after that. Ooh, we got ourselves an egg here. And yeah, we'll bounce the egg instead this time around. We'll tap our guy. We'll tap our other guy. We'll get to one tap them again. We'll, we will uh, keep that all coming on top so we can foretell it. And we're going to tap this guy and tap this guy. And uh, they're at 14. Ain't that beautiful. And we will foretell this. That way we can counter spell and tap and untap some more. Ain't that great? <laughs> Feels kind of fun. I don't know. Just being able to do some some shenanigans here. We're gonna tap you. We're going to tap you. And then we're gonna counter spell. Saw it coming. Being able to untap our guys again. And since this is only a two-two. We'll be able to block and, and uh, continue to, to tap again and do two more damage. <laughs> this is great. I, I'm having the time of my life with this, guys. All right. Uh, we just need another blue here. We can cast this Epiphany, I think, right? We got three, four, five. Yep. Uh, it's going to deal two damage to any target. So it looks like we're going to take two. And this is going to transform into a 3-3. Three, three. I'm okay with that. Because I don't plan to block. I need these guys to be able to do some damage. Hey, we drew our, we drew our island. So we'll be able to cast that epiphany now. And be able to tap our thermal alchemist some more. And 
uh, yeah, I may not have any cards in hand left. But I am totally having fun with this. And we will keep this. And we'll keep a consider. Though, realistically, I should have kept the land. So then we could have casted, casted the ingenious here. But then that was on me. That's fine. We just win next turn. But yeah, for future references, should have kept the land. And then we could have won right then and there. Now he's going to do this. He's going to gain two life. And he's going to go up to four. And... Uh, to, yeah, I mean, we still technically win. But we could have won on this current turn if we had kept the land. But, no, I didn't think about that. Alrighty. So, uh, he's probably contemplating his uh, decision here. And whether he scoops it up or... Unless he... Play white. You could play a Doom's car. Wiper board. And then for sure, I mean, we just kill him with the ingenious inspiration on the next turn, regardless. We may be doom scars here. And uh, remove a flame counter from a body of, of flame, exile the top card of the library, and then you play that card. But uh, yeah, the Powerless Epiphany is strong, <laughs> giving us the extra turn to tap it on top of our guys and then turn sideways. It's beautiful, guys. Beautiful. Alright, I think we take this one. Uh, I'm not sure. But he has the timing extension here, and uh, yeah, we got it. Alrighty, so we definitely won that last game, and let's move on to the next one. Play more Alchemist for the win for sure. Alright, so we got some lands here. We got a glimpse of Cosmos. Nice instant sacrifice. We got this island turn one, so then we can uh, consider some cards. And we'll pass here, and he has a champion of the perished. Nice, so some zombies here. Nice. He's gonna attack here for one, and we're gonna consider. And uh, we'll take the action of putting that in the yard, and we'll draw a card, because we already have a sufficient amount of mana. Alright, so we'll glimpse the cosmos here, and we'll put one of them into my hand, we'll put in the Fading Hope, and then that way we can uh, put the champion of the parish back in his hand, and uh, reset him. For now he's going to swing for two, and whenever one or more non-token, whenever one or more non-token creatures dies, clearly two to black zombie creatures are considered. It's now a 3-3. Three, three. That ain't fun. But now we have the mana to put it back in his hand. And enough mana for a consider. But you know what? Instead, we're just going to do 3 damage. And then we're going to... Since he's playing mono black, we can discard this field of ruin. And then just draw an extra card. And land for land. And it's fine. He makes, uh, he makes a decay token here, but... A lot better to have a decay token that will go away at the end instead of having a champion of the parish that we'll get inevitably later. So we move up here to 9. And then we... Yeah, we'll behold the multiverse here. And... Uh, yeah, we'll scry one to the bottom and we'll draw two. We haven't drawn into any of our Thermal Alchemists because that would definitely uh, help here. But uh, we're, we're helpful that we'll get there. Alright, so from here we go to three. Bada boom, bada boom, we 
we got ourselves a rock list. Be able to have a blocker now. And Fading Hope to put up the uh, Ghoul Collar into his hand. Or the land into his hand. So we're going to uh, put that one into his hand. We'll scry this to the bottom. And from here we block here. We only take one. And look, we got another fading hope here. And we should be okay. Alright, so that land comes into play tapped. He's going to pass, but here we're going to deal one damage to him. We're going to cast a fading hope, putting this back in his hand, being able to untap our guy. Ooh, we got ourselves another Thermal Alchemist. Nice. And then before we pass it on to our turn, we'll tap our guy again. And then we will Memory Deluge. Being able to untap our guy again, and we put two cards into our hand. We play our Thermal Alchemist, and we hold the Multiverse. And then bam. And yeah, that's fine. So we're gonna cast our, our Thermal Alchemist here. And we will drop this land here. And we will foretell this. Keeping mana open. Now for that negate, I consider for that behold the multiverse. And hopefully this puts us back in the game. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. Alright, that's fine. Alright, so from here... We'll cast up Behold the Multiverse. We will tap our guy. Doing one damage to him, get him to untap. That's not what I'm looking for. And, uh, hey, I drew what I was looking for. Perfect. We will block here. Oh, oh, he needs to be double blocked, huh? That's fine because we're gonna put him back in, in his hand anyways. And we're gonna fade and hope putting him back in his hand and getting the ability to untap our guy again. And there's another field of ruin. I will keep this one this time. We will untap again. And he goes down to 14. And then he cast the Goo Collar. Nice. So there we go. There is our Field of Ruin. And we'll pass on over to him. So now he knows he plays the land. We will sack, uh, sack it. And he'll have himself a nice little swamp over there. We have two Thermal Alchemists here. We will consider that in response. We will tap our guy. We will tap our other guy. Put him down to 11. And look at the cards we made. Ooh, 
we'll draw that. I was hoping to draw into a counter spell, but you know what? It's fine. Yeah, it's fine. Because we have uh, three fading hopes. We still have one more, so we're in the deck. So that's fine. Alright, so we're going to activate this. We're going to activate this. We're going to Memory Deluge, getting the ability to untap our guys. We'll do this and this. And this and this. And then we'll Demon Bolt here, getting our ability to untap our guys some more. Tap here, tap here, and we brought him down to six. Ain't that great? Though I think here's where we lose. But uh, let's stay hopeful, right? Yeah, if only we were able to have Mano cast that. Keep on fading hope. And then we will do this and this. And actually, I think we just win instead. I just realized. And I call this the comeback of the century because we were at two for a very long time and we were able to bring them down from 20 to two. And then bam. Alrighty guys, that was such a strong comeback. We had him at 20, we were at 2, he thought that we were dead, we kept casting considers and uh, fading hopes, putting his lands back into his hand, preventing him from being able to attack us, and getting damage through, because yes, he did attack, but we had blocked with the Thermal Alchemist, we were able to tap him, and then cast some spells, untap him, and we were able to bring him down from 20 all the way down to zero. We would have been zero, but he scooped right before when he was at one and we we're about to do, do the last final damage. Well, guys, that's going to wrap it up about now. But if you want to see more of this deck or you want me to play any of my other decks, just drop it down in the comments section below. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. It really helps me out here. And remember, guys, tell your friends.